what's up guys it's Claudio here and we are back to more Zwift racing this is a really good one you don't want to miss this my best 20 minute power during this race it's an 11 minute really short sprint series the Evo CC sprint and right away I want to show you something that I did in my settings I changed the trainer difficulty I had it down I had it at like 50 percent then I moved it down to like 25 percent and this was big I'm going to explain it it really made a big, big difference. Let's go, five seconds, full gas, 400 watts. That's my standard, right out of the gate. And here we go. This is, uh, the, the field was good, they were strong. It got split up, you're gonna watch and see how it, you know, during the first minute, it just, it's torn apart but there was a good, strong front group and I was able to stay with them the whole time. Really excited about that. The first time I finished with the front group. So I've been making some really, really good progress. Um, I've been getting cramps. For the past three races, I got cramps. I had to stop. You're, gonna about, you're about to see what happens here. Check out the green dots and how it's already getting strung out. And here's a split, it's right here. I need to stay with the front group, no matter what. I know I can do 300, 400 watts for a minute. It's painful, you can see my heart rate already going up. 177, 76. My max heart rate is um, 194. Here I am. And the split, it's already split up. Already people are getting left behind. And here comes the one minute. My first minute average is 340 watts. So it's pretty significant. It's starting to slow down now. Always the first minute, you just gotta get through that minute. In these B races, it's a minute. Maybe in A races, that what I've seen, it's like three to five minutes. Uh, so we are in there. And guys, a lot of good stuff here. I mean, this is basically a time trial effort. I'm staying close to 300 watts the entire time. You see the, the split and it started off with 72 people. Now I'm kind of, it's in the 20s or so. I'm already in some pain. I'm already like pretty much 180 BPM. So it really takes practice. Let's, let's talk about, let's talk about the trainer difficulty thing. Basically what that does, from what I understand, people are messaging, hey man, check out, change your trainer difficulty. Basically what that does, <clears throat> it makes it so that you don't have to shift as much. So when you go up a hill, it's not so intense. And you don't have to change so many times. And it, it's not like it makes it easier, like less watts. You have to do the same amount of watts, but you have to change less shift less. And so in all those other races that I was doing, I had to get out of the saddle and I was like all over the place. And I think that's one of the reasons why I was getting cramps. I was just like too much in and out of the saddle and just blowing myself up. Here in this race, I stayed in the saddle the whole time. It was huge. And it was uh, because of that, because I changed the, the trainer difficulty and I'm gonna experiment with that. Maybe some races it's important to have the trainer difficulty up higher. Come I'm, on. Al <laughs> I'm already suffering my face off. Look at me. Front group. All right. Yeah, I made the front group. Boom. Front group. I'm happy about that. So trainer difficulty, play around with that. You know, some races you're gonna to wanna to put it up, put it down, depending on the terrain. There's not that much climbing here. But I just, so I, I dropped it down a little bit to see what it's like. Like here, it's going up to five, six percent. And look, I didn't, even, I didn't even change. I didn't shift. I didn't hear myself shift. So I just stayed in there. If I had left the trainer difficulty up to 50%, I would have to shift, you know, two or three times. So that's good. It's making it more of a, a smoother ride experience. And Let's keep going. Let's see, let's see what is happening here. 
how much I can suffer. It's just, it's fun to watch people suffer. Let's face it, that's why we're here. In the downhills also, you have to shift less. It's smoother. So I was happy about that. But man, this was just straight up pain. It's like an FTP test. It's like a 20 minute FTP test, but in a race format. And I am hurting already. I mean, just look at me, look at my eyes, look at my face. I don't like this at all, but I'm happy. And I was feeling a little bit of a cramp in my stomach, but I, I was like, whatever. It's not, it wasn't terrible and it went away. So we're coming up in the five minute mark. I told myself, just stay in the saddle for five minutes. Try not to get out of the saddle and try not to blow yourself up. So here's my first five minute average. 302 watts for five minutes. That's intense for me. That's a, that's a very significant effort. And here, look, 4%. Did I shift? Oh, look at this. I don't think I shifted. I would have heard it. Maybe that's, maybe I just shifted. Anyways, yeah, there it is. I shifted, I shifted once. And that's the climb that leads to the final straightaway. And I didn't like that. That hurt. So guys, I have been doing, I finished my trainer road, sweet spot, high volume base, and now I'm doing the short power build. And yes, I did see Dylan's video. I saw that. Very cool video. Let me know in the comments if you want me to do some kind of a, another video on my trainer road experience. Because I did, if you guys watched Dylan's video, he basically was talking smack about the sweet spot high volume base training. Mostly that and the whole thing. But this, the, the base training that I did, I just finished. And this is my second year in a row that I finished the sweet spot base high volume. And I'm gonna do, a, I, I'm thinking about doing a review on that for the second year. Let me know in the comments if you wanna see that and you wanna hear that. Um, but by the way, his video was very good. And he did a good job and he's, uh, you know, he's all about the science and everything. Come on, close it. And I'm here trying to close some gaps. I'm going. Aero boost, boom, let's go. I had to, I have to, I have to get up there. I have to push out more watts. I'm hating this. 182 BPM. Whoa. <laughs> this is what it's okay. like. This is what racing okay. is all about. It's just straight up pain. At least the ones that I've been. And of course, I go all the way to the front. And it happens a lot. A lot of this yo-yoing around. But in this race, less. Less of that. Because of the trainer difficulty thing that I talked about. I bumped it down. <clears throat> so I'm in there, guys, I'm hanging in there. The most I've ever survived was like 13 minutes before, I, before getting dropped. I really wanted to do that. Now I'm just pushing through this. And this course is not that bad. I mean, it's got some climbing, but it's pretty straightforward. Oh. And there I am. I'm touching my side because I'm feeling the cramp coming. Come on, 10 minutes at least. And I'm trying to tell myself at least 10 minutes. So I'm giving me, I'm giving myself these little goals. So I just skipped up. We're nine, nine and some change here. I'm about to come up in 10 minutes. And I'm giving myself goals. Just stay in there for another minute. Not, go to 10 minutes. Go to 15 10 minutes. minutes. Okay. Let's go to 13. First 10 minutes, what did I do? Let's see. 294 watts, almost 300 watts for 10 minutes. That's nuts. That's insane. I'm the, I'm the back. And I told myself, go up to 13 minutes. I got to do it. Let's suffer through just minute by minute. Give myself these little goals. And that's how I was able to survive this race. It's, it's really, actually, you can kind of fool yourself into, into going longer and longer. If you give yourself, you know, one minute at a time, a few minutes at a time, 
you can suffer through a little bit. There it is, I, I, I shifted like once and we're going up to 6%. I would have had to shift three times. And this is a, we're in lab number one, we're still lab number one. And now we're skipping ahead a couple ah. minutes later. <laughs> I'm still hurting. I'm in some serious pain. Look at my face. Ah. I hate it. <laughs> I hated this so much. I hate, I really hated it. Come I hated on, every, minutes. everything about it. I'm trying to get up to 13 minutes. Small goals. Whew. And I'm, but I'm doing a really good job. Man, I really suffered here. Look, I'm tired. Come on, 13. I'm proud of the suffering that I did. Okay. 15 minutes. Let's get it. So I gave myself another two minute goal. Going up to 15 minutes. Man. Oh, that sucks. <laughs> I'm, I'm really hating my life right now. Let's keep going. And I made it to 15 minutes. And I'm going. I'm gonna go. I think, I'm thinking that I can kind of, I can make this race happen. I can finish it. I'm in the front group, but I'm dying. But it's sustainable. It's not like crazy stuff that I'm doing. It's Feather. just sustainable stuff. It's painful. It's very uncomfortable. And I'm trying to get this, I'm trying to do the power-ups whenever I can. And this is helping me here so I don't get dropped. And power-ups are a part of racing. <laughs> They're a part of Zwift, the whole Zwift experience. So it's not like you're cheating. It's not like you're, 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 it's a cop out thing. It's like use them. It's like the people who use them ah. the best, they, they make up ground and they can win with the power ups. Ah. So it's totally a game. My heart rate, 180 BPM. This is, this is hell. Let's get to 20 minutes. Come on. There it is, 18 minutes. I've really gone far here. Really suffering beyond, you know, <laughs> my belief. And I'm up the front. Again, I need to stay out of there because there's no draft up there. And now I, I'm, okay, I'm recovering a little bit, which is good. But when you recover, you got to be careful because you drop back way too far, way too fast. And here we go, 20 minutes. Guys, my 20 minute best heart rate, highest heart rate for 20 minutes was 180 BPM. I've never done that. It was like the best of the best. Here we go, point, less than half a mile, guys. The final straightaway sort of 0.4 miles. I know that at 800 feet, I need to start cranking it up. 800 feet is kind of like 300 meters or something ah. like that and I need to start winding it up, but I am dead. Imagine having to sprint at the end of an FTP test. That's what I'm about to do right now. And I'm still up there in the group, but the guys ah. already took off. The guys are moving way fast, you know, the, the top 10. And I'm stuck in the back of the front group, whatever's left, and here we go. 800 feet, and I stand up. Let's see what I have left. Come on, push. This was the most impossible thing to do. <laughs> okay, I cranked out, ah. I topped out at 700 watts, ah. whatever. Guys, I was dying. Ah. I barely had anything left. I passed a few people, boom. Yeah. Finished with the front group. Ah. The Zwift results was 46, and let's look oh. at the Zwift power. Ah. I came in at 17. That. Nice. Very Work good that. effort. And here we go. Went up to 277 watts for my FTP and detected that. Super hyped about that, guys. Huge effort here. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.